wonder if this angle looks alright. I mean, you're looking down at me, you are very high up. But, does it look alright? Is it an alright angle? You'll need to let me know. So, today's video, should I sit here? Should I sit? Maybe I'll get a bit closer. In today's video, I have now gotten sick of wearing these sunglasses. Basically, at the start of lockdown, the weather just became phenomenal and I didn't have a pair of adequate sunglasses. So the closest thing I could find was from a Tesco garage and these cost me, I want to say two pound, two to five pound at most. And now I've gotten sick of them because every time I wear them for too long, they start to hurt my eyes. So I decided to make the investment, get a couple sets of sunglasses through the mail. This is an unboxing video. Right, so let's crack in. So to begin with, you can say goodbye to them. Let's get this open, shall we? No, how do we open this? So that, there's one, and there's two. So in here I bought two pairs, and this is just because they were on sale. So buy one, get one free, basically. So I got the Roller TR90 and the Orion 2. So my main criteria is hoping that it actually looks like what they look like in the in the advertisements because 90% of the time you buy something it looks really cool online and then you get it and it's really disappointing. So let's start with the roller TR90. See what's inside. So to begin with, nice black box, a little bit worn here. Got the website on the back. Let's see what's in, like inside. Right, get rid of that. Little sticker. Might use it. Let's see how the glasses are first. Uh, little instruction pack for glasses. Probably won't ever read that. Nice little wipe. I, these are actually kind of useful because I keep losing mine. And they're really useful. One, for the camera I'm filming this on. And two, my laptop. So anything that gets dust on, really. They're always useful to have because they always get lost. Nice little case. Quite a classy little simplistic case. I'm really hoping, for the price of it, this is definitely not real leather, but I actually prefer full leather to real leather, just obviously because there's no point in using real leather just for a fashion statement. So, open that up. And here we go, here are the glasses. So, get rid of all this packaging, nicely wrapped, let's turn these on the side, chuck that away, here we go, oh look at that, you can even see me in the camera, hello, yeah, I like these, got a nice red, the whole point is they're supposed to have a bright red tint to them, uh, like, almost like a fire red, Obviously, it's probably been highlighted more online, just photoshopped a little bit because they're not quite as deep or quite as strong a colour as I thought they would be, but obviously that will need to be tested out in the daylight. But it's kind of cool how it goes from deep red back to like bright yellow. It's kind of smart. I don't actually know what this style of glasses is. It's on the side. Nope. I don't know if it's roller is the name of it, but anyway, nice, nice, simple, mint, small little frame. Can I focus in on the close one? Apparently not. There we go. Look at that, looking nice. And that's glasses number one. For pack two, these are the Orion 2, or the Orion II, depending on how you want to look at it. Mono length single cut. Name again, Dr. Franklin on size. Box is a little bashed, but I won't hold it against them. Yeah, it's a nice look, little looking box, actually. I quite like it. So let's crack this open. Right, that's everything. Chuck that away. Again, a little pamphlet. Oh, two little pamphlets this time. Oh, with more stickers as well. What's this one? Anyway. We'll most likely never read them. Let's get some more stickers. Let's have a look at that. Similar to the box. Quite smart, actually. Might find a use for that. And then we've got the usual, uh, what are they called, the little wipe. 
and then the box itself, let's crack that open. Nice little full leather box as well. Get rid of all these. And this. There we go. So completely kind of a silvery reflection on the front, which is really smart. And then just a normal black, similar to a kind of Ray-Ban style on the sides. Back just looks like a normal pair of glasses, sides, and you kind of got this crazy mirror tint, which is a little off-putting if you keep it still. Kind of looks like a mirror in the floor or a hole in the floor. Kind of cool. Yeah, so these would be quite smart. They might get a bit distracting, so obviously with a mirror, I don't know how reflective it will be in terms of sunlight coming off them, but hopefully it doesn't interfere with too many other people. At least, it, obviously, they're uh, proper UV graded sunglasses. I think UV 34, I want to say. So they won't affect my eyes at all, but with passers-by, with it being that reflective, there is a small chance I might blind them on the way past, but you know, that's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, kind of smart. So there we have it, nice short video today. I mean, there are only pairs of glasses. How much unboxing could there actually be? But this is what they look like, number one. Nice camera in the middle. That's one. They kind of look pink. Oh no, they don't. Hmm. The glasses make stuff look weird. I kind of look like Morpheus. Morpheus. The blue pill or the red pill? Now you see what I see. And that is my kitchen. Bye.